You guys, we really want to go to Mars, like really bad, but it's just so far away. How far? Farther than you think. Hey gang, this is DNews and I'm Trace. Look you guys, we want to go to Mars so passionately that the nerds working on getting us there are going balls to the wall. Some of these ways are crazy and some of these ways make perfect sense and we got both. Mars is our neighbor but you have to remember we're flying around the sun and it's flying around the sun and it's going a different speed than we're going and it's a lot farther away than we are and with all that flying there is a lot of math to figure out the best time to launch, which is when the Earth and Mars are in opposition or at their closest points in their orbit. It means they're about 40 million miles away from each other. This point happens every 26 months or so, and we're about a year from the next one. Space agencies wanting to go to Mars time it with the opposition, otherwise they could end up having to travel way too far to be practical. Think of it like jumping from one speeding train to another passing speeding train going the same direction. It is not easy, and if you screw it up, there are a lot of ways to make this interplanetary leap. With current technology, we could get to Mars in like 150 days at top speed. But that's not always the goal. For example, when MSL Curiosity headed to Mars, it was sent on an orbit which eventually landed it on Mars after traveling for 8 months and 11 days that is definitely not the quickest trip. The difference is, Curiosity is a robot. It's not a human. It's not susceptible to the dangers of interplanetary travel like radiation or psychological breakdowns or, you know, the need for oxygen. Currently, the big limit on space travel is how fast our ships can go. The rockets you're used to seeing are called chemical rockets because of the kind of fuel they use. Because our fuel is so heavy based on the amount of thrust we get out of it, it's thought of as a pretty inefficient system. Their actual speeds vary, but our satellites right now are zooming around at about 17,000 miles an hour. NASA is working with the University of Washington on a new method of propulsion called the fusion drive. <laughs> it sounds pretty awesome, yeah. Nuclear fusion happens when the nuclei of two atoms are pushed together so much that they merge, releasing a lot of energy. Using lithium bands and a nugget of deuterium tritium, magnets will push atoms together, causing fusion and pushing the spacecraft. It's so efficient and produces so much thrust, it could get us to Mars in like 30 days. 30 days! Plus, the fuel is way better for space travel. A pellet the size of a grain of sand is equivalent to a whole gallon of chemical fuel. Now this guy is still in an experimental phase, but the plan is to have an operational spacecraft by 2020, which is pretty quick. If we could get a Mars visit to like 30 days overall, you know, there and back plus your trip, would you want to go for a month? Is that still too much? Tell us your thoughts and keep tuning into DNews twice a day every day. See you around the interwebs. Fusion drive! <laughs>